Welcome everybody. Uh, if you're watching this video, it probably means that my wife has given birth to our child, or is at least in process of giving birth to our child, so I'll try to make this uh, reasonably understandable. You should have about five days of these things set up. That way I can help enter my new kid into the world, hopefully health healthy and safe and everything else, and have a little time to spend with them, uh, introduce the new kid to the old kid. You know how it is. Trade them out, get a better model whatever. So today we're going to talk about multiplying binomials. Uh, binomials are terms that have two terms, are streams of terms that have, in this case, the bi would be two. So x plus three, for instance, is an example of a binomial. If I had more than two terms, it would be a, shockingly enough, trinomial. So that's kind of where we're headed with today's assignment. Let's look at how we solve these. So what if I had x plus 4 and I wanted to multiply it by another binomial, x plus 3. But in this case I put x plus 3 first. doesn't really matter. The method that's most often used is called FOIL. And if you would forget it, just look up at the ceiling in this room. I mean it's all over the place. So it's just not aluminum here. The FOIL over here stands for front, outside, inside and last. Uh, that would be the front two numbers of these sets. So these sets here, the front numbers are here. These are the fronts. These are the uh, last numbers in the set. The inside would be the two that are inside and the outside would be on the outside. So let's do, um, since they're touching each other by the way, we're going to do multiply here. So the front numbers are x and x. If you remember this is x to the first power and so is this. If I multiply uh, two variables together, I actually add their exponents. So x and x, so that gives me x squared. Now I look at outside, so that would be the ones out here, so I do x times positive 4, so that would be 4x. And then I do inside, so 3x. And then I do last, so I do 4 times 3 is 12 looks like I would be done here but I have to just make sure that it looks nice and clean so I'm actually going to combine my like terms I drew two lines under the x squared one line under each of the x terms so these are my like terms 4x and 3x that would be 7x so my final answer is x squared plus 7x plus 12 that's using the foil maybe that's why I covered the ceiling I really didn't but it seems like I did it for a mathematical purpose. I'll tell that to the building inspectors when they come in. Anyway, here's another one. We're going to do FOIL again. So FOIL would be front, so that would be the 2x and the 3x. 3 times 2 is, of course, 6. I've got two x's there. That's x to the first power and x to the first power. So in my brain, that screams x to the second power. Then I do uh, outside. So I do t positive 2x times 4. So that would be 4 times 2 is 8. Only one x term here, so it's 8x. And then I do inside, negative 5 times 3x. And finally, I've got my last. So negative 5 times 4 gives me negative 20. And all I have to do from here is just clean up a little bit. So I'm going to see if I have any uh, like terms here. Here's like terms. So 8x minus 15. Remember, read the story as it's shown. So 8 minus 15 gives me negative 7x. So my final answer is 6x squared minus 7x minus 20. So that's that one. Let's look at another one. Negative 6a plus 1 times the quantity 2a minus 9. So once again, if you forget, look right up at the ceiling there. You should have, I'll even flip this towards the ceiling. There's the foil, people. It's everywhere. Not the light diffusers, that's the blue thing, but everything else is aluminum foil ceiling. There's the longer view of it. So if you forget what to do when you see those two things, uh, those two binomials touching each other, you're going to use foil. So I do negative 6 a plus 1 times quantity 2a minus 9. So front first, so negative 6 times positive 2 would be negative 12. And there is 1a, 2a, so that's a squared. 
Then I do outside. So here's my outside. Negative 6 times negative 9. Be careful about that. Negative 6 times negative 9 is positive 54. And there's only 1a. Then I do inside. 2 times 1 is 2a. Then I do last, which in this case would be negative 9 times positive 1, which gives you negative 9. Go through and see if I need to um, combine any like terms or the like. Two lines here, one line there, one line there. Negative 9, so read the story. Plus 54 plus 2a. I'm trying to make sure I'm getting this all exactly how it's supposed to be. I am, okay. So this would be 56a negative 12a squared plus 56a minus 9, just like that. And this is supposed to be an a. My a's are really close to my 9, so sorry about that. One other type that you have to worry about before we do a couple practice. This is 9x plus 8, or the quantity 9x plus 8, squared. Now, if you recall, if I say something like 4 is squared, that would mean 4 times 4. So in this case, if I have the quantity 9x plus 8 and it, the whole thing is squared, that really means 9x plus 8 times 9x plus 8. Pretty simple. And then we're just going to remember the ceiling. We have these two together, so that means ceiling. Front, 9 times 9 is 81. There's two x's, so it's x squared. Uh, outside, 9x plus 8. 72x. Inside, same thing again. 72x. And then 8 times 8 is the last. This is the last number in each one. I'm looking to combine like terms here because that's what I like to do. I'm a mathematical matchmaker. So 72 plus 72. 144x. Usually in your answer, and this is the final answer, by the way, usually in your answer you will have three terms in the answer. That's not always the case. Let me flip this over and talk about one where you wouldn't. If I have, and this is a terrible idea to flip this thing over, wasn't it? So let's try using a separate sheet of paper. So you can actually see it. I forgot how much that stuff bleeds through. If I have 4x minus 5 and 4x plus 5, and I work it out like always, 16x, and then I do... That'd be front, outside, so it'd be uh, plus 20x, inside, minus 20x, and then last, minus 25. Let's look for like terms here, a little matchmaker. Oh, and this is supposed to be x squared. I hope somebody caught that ahead of time. If you didn't catch it, you're not paying any attention, so pay attention. 20x, minus 20x, those cancel out, because 20 minus 20 is 0. So your final answer here is be 16x squared minus 25. That's a situation where the front and the back are exactly the same except for this sign happens to be different. So that's one of the very few situations where you'll have less than three uh, numbers in your answer. But it doesn't mean it's the only time, so whatever, whatever. I will warn you about this. What is very popular to do with this question, which I just thought of, is squaring each of the numbers and hoping for the best. Like, it's very popular for someone to go, oh, it's 81x squared and then plus 64. That's a very popular answer. It is so popular and yet wrong. Because of the fact that you're squaring both and that middle number would be eliminated, make sure you don't do something ridiculous and square those. Just go ahead and work it all the way out as normal. So you might actually have to write things down, as shocking as that sounds. I think you're ready for practice problems now. Here they are. The first practice problem says x squared, or x plus 2, the quantity x plus 2, times the quantity x plus 5. The second one says 5x, or the quantity 5x minus 2, uh, times the quantity 5x plus 2. And the last one says the quantity negative 4x plus 1 squared. So if you are in charge of the classroom right now, please pause the video. I'm going to let the video sit there quietly for a few minutes um, to give them time, and I'm just going to try to shut up. That's almost impossible for me to do. Anyone knows me knows this. Um, and then I'm going to come back and uh, 
give you a chance to go over them, but please pause the video so hopefully it sits there so you can they have a chance to work on them. Make them work on it on paper, and then they can go over it, and then they can have their assignment after the explanation. Okay, I threw 15 seconds in there. That's about as long as I can go without talking. Ask anyone who knows me in regular life. So, remember, if you have this kind of quantity times quantity, look up the old ceiling, and we're going to use foil. So, front, outside, inside, last. So, the front numbers here, I've got x to the first power times x to the first power. So, that reads to me x squared. Then I've got outside, which are the numbers on the outside, of course. So, it's x times 5. So, 5. 5x. Uh, then I've got my inside, which is 2 times x. Then I've got my last, which is uh, 5 times 2 being 10. So x squared plus 7x plus 10. I did a little matchmaking. That's how I got that 7. For the next one, uh, 5x minus 2 times 5x plus 2. If you are smart here, you realize that these are exactly the same except for the sign. So these binomials look almost exactly alike. If the signs are different, it likely means that I will not have all three uh, numbers in my answer like I did here. So what I'm going to do is use FOIL again, of course. My front, that would be uh, 5 times 5 is 25. Um, then I'm going to do the outside. So I've got 5 times 5x five times 2, so that'd be 10x. Then I've got my inside, which is negative 2 times 5x. That would be minus 10x. And then I've got my last, which would be negative 2 times positive 2, which is negative 4. Do a little bit of uh, combining like terms here. So the 25x squared will drop out. Those will actually cancel each other out because 10x minus 10x is 0. And then that brings out my minus 4. So 25x squared minus 4. Last one, negative 4x plus 1 squared. In order to rewrite this so you can see it, I'm going to make a larger version of that question. Right here. And that was the worst two ever. Actually, probably not. You'll see some videos where I've done much worse. So, remember, don't be ridiculous and do negative 4 squared or some bad decision making. Set the quantity up to multiply by itself to solve. So, I'm going to do FOIL again. So, the front is negative 4 times negative 4. So, that would be positive 16x squared. Then, I'm going to do outside. So, plus 4x. Oh, wait. No, it's not going to be plus 4. It's going to be minus 4 because this is a minus. I made the mistake I always warn you about, which is why I always warn you about it, because I do it all the time. So then I've got my inside, which would be positive 1 times negative 4. And finally, I've got the last, which would be positive 1 times positive 1. I'm going to go ahead and do some combining of like terms, like totally. Bring that down. Negative 4 minus 8 or minus 4, I'm step, jumping ahead there, negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8x plus 1. So hopefully you did really well on those. If not, uh, hopefully there's someone in class who can help you because you're going to be doing these for pretty much all week or something similarly related, even though I'm going to show you some cool little calculator stuff later in the week. And uh, hopefully I'll be back as soon as this video series is done and everything will be copacetic and I'll have a brand new child.